Masters Podcast, the number one self-absorbed beer show from coast to coast and every once in a while in between. Hey, I'm Dylan Brewer at Cape Ann Brewing, and you're listening to the Beer Coaster. My name is Charles Finkel, and I'm the founder and the president of Pike Brewing Company here in Seattle. I'm uh, glad to uh, to be on the Beer Coaster. Well, hello. Welcome to the Beer Coasters Podcast, 2014, an entirely self-absorbed beer show dedicated to bringing you the best and worst in mostly American craft beer from coast to coast and every once in a while in between. Oh. I'm your host this week. I'm Mike from Boston, and with me this week is... Crazy Dave from Temecula, California. And Toby in Las Vegas, Nevada. What's up, dude? What's up? Uh, I'm not sure how that intro song came in. It sounded a little low, but I, I guess... I don't know, yeah. I, I had it cranked. I don't know what was yeah. going on. So, we apologize for our technical difficulty. We we know how awesomely produced our YouTube segment is here. <laughs> and how professional everything is, so... Um, yes. Well, you know what? My audio... You know what? Oh, man... My mic got turned all the way oh, down. Oh, there you go. Hello. My mic, there. yeah, my mic Whoa, was. Oh, okay. But for some reason, my my recording software is also controlling my YouTube uh, uh, and Google Chat Hangout. So yeah, there it's we go. Really oh, now you sound like butter. Yeah. Hello, ladies. How you doing? My name is Crazy Dave. So you wanna you, wanna, you know go watch the Bachelor with me or something? <laughs> I gotta go watch the Bachelor. <laughs> Look at all the uh, stuff so you ain't going to get. This week's show, um, <laughs> what you'll be seeing on YouTube here, uh, this is part of our Strange Brew 2 issue. Take and, off, eh? Yeah. Hoser. You hoser. And I actually couldn't get this beer. I don't know if anybody's found it in Massachusetts yet, but um, Toby and Dave are going to try uh-huh. the Rogue Voodoo Donut Pretzel Raspberry and Chocolate Ale. Yes, that's the whole title. Yep. And I'll let I you think... guys kind of take it over from here, but I, I wanted to at least mention the other beers that we'd have uh, for the rest of the show. Uh, the rest of our podcast oh, yeah. will come out sometime this weekend. Well, I'm drinking the um, Iron Fist, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Rubus Vigoratus, or Rubus and... Vigoratus. And uh, Rubus. <laughs> Rubus, Rubus. Anybody that uh, Rubus, you know, Rubus. feels like commenting on uh, our Latin, uh, you can just yeah. screw. <laughs> <laughs> like, who I speaks know. Latin anymore? I mean, really? <laughs> I think the devil. I think he still does. <laughs> uh, I mean, besides, and, like, uh, Catholic teachers in, like, high school? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That too. Later, later on the show, I will be trying the Stone Brewing's Suede. It's one of their recent collaborations. Oh, oh yeah. It's got some interesting stuff in it. It's like flowers and spices and something. Oh, by the way, it's Rubus Vigoratus. There you go. Ah, it's Italian. Well, no, it's Latin, I think. Well, but oh. very. Very closely related. <laughs> you sounded Italian. Like, hey, Rubus well, here, <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. Here, listen, with the, listen. With the listen, pepperoni. Listen. Here. <laughs> this, is, this is from Google Translate Latin. Rubus Vigoratus. Ah, Rubus okay. Vigoratus. Oh, she even did the little Vigoratus. Yeah. So she's somewhere in Italy. And translated, it's Bush Healers. What? Yeah. Wow. All right. So for my beer later on in the show, I'm actually going to try a beer from uh, Night Shift Brewing Company, and the beer is called Rose, and also has like flowers and honey and some fancy stuff like Toby was talking about. All right. There we go. Oh, I guess I should say that mine was brewed with raspberries, and um, I don't know what the hell this stuff is, but... um, Cardamom? Yeah. Yeah. It just, I mean, it tastes like cinnamon, but it's more of a... Uh, a root as opposed to a, you know. Well, yeah, we'll talk about more of that. Stick. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. let's get to our voodoo donut. 
Yeah, our fermentation More conversation. More than a dude. stick, man. <laughs> Um, yeah, so get two beers. Come on, talk about. Um, it. This is from Rogue Ales. These guys are out of uh, Newport, Oregon, right? And um, they're doing not really a collaboration, but I guess kind of a collaboration with uh, the Voodoo Donut guys. They're um, a donut shop that's out of um, Portland, Oregon. Portland. Yeah. Um, they're not like your Winchell's or Yum Yum Donuts. I mean, these guys make high end, like like specialty, like fancy let's, donuts and let's shit. Call but... them craft donuts, shall we? <laughs> There we uh, go. There you go. Um, but they, you, their artisanal donuts. donuts. Their first, uh, their first donut beer that uh, they did with Rogue was the, uh, or Rogue did with them was the uh, maple bacon voodoo donut, and um, this one is the pretzel raspberry and chocolate ale. Is this the third Which release I think, from them? I the what? think it's the third. Oh, that's right, because the they had the banana one. Yeah, that, that tried, Elvis one. This will be. We've tried all of them now on the show. Yeah, we did. We did the. Uh, Some of us have. Yeah. We did the. We actually did the uh, bacon maple beer on our first Strange Brew show, which you can look at beercoasterspodcast.com. Look for our Strange Brew show. Yeah. And then we it's just funny did show, the. Eh? Uh, no way, what's her? And then we did the um, peanut chocolate peanut butter banana one yeah. on. That wasn't that long ago. No, it was Should sometime look for that real quick? late last year, I think, yeah. maybe in September. But anyway, this will we're actually doing the third one in this series, I guess you can call it, on the show now. There's a whole bunch of ingredients. They got two-row Munich, C120, chocolate back, black, kiln coffee, Rogue Farms Dare and Risk Malts, Rogue Farms Rebel Hops, pretzels, raspberry extract, chocolate, Pac-Man yeast, and of course, Rogue's famous free-range coastal water. And there is no chemicals, additives, or preservatives. Well, is it raspberry extract? Like, well, I guess it's not really a chemical. But right. anyhow, six point seven five percent ABV. It's time to bust this motherfucker open. Oh, mine says five point four. On the mine bottom. says six point seven five. Oh wow! Oh, we, we did that as a bonus track. I think we did that. Um, it bust was- it. A bonus Bust track it. off of the you Bretta you Brett Brett show, and we did um, a pre-show beer live with Elvis. Oh, that's right. oh. And also, for those of you that are listening, if you want to find this bottle, it's real easy to find. Look for the pink Pepto Bismol colored bottle. That's in a twenty-two. Yeah, yeah and I think you it's probably the it. only pink you can't. beer bottle you'll probably yeah. find. Yeah, the whole bottle is pink. So if you see a pink bottle, it's going to be the Rogue Voodoo Donut beer of some so variety. It, it's it brown. Out pretty pretty dark. Yeah, it's a dark dark brown. I got some a little bit of a tan tannish maybe caramel colored highlight. It looks like a coat. Classified as a brown. I'm not positive, but I think they said it was classified as a brown ale base. Yeah, looks like a coke. Yeah, I started off with about a finger of head. Now I'm down to about a half finger. But of course, you know, like if you're to be like in Japan, they would say it looks like the color of cock. <laughs> Ooh, on the nose, I got some chocolate. Chocolate? It smells like chocolate and beer. Um, I don't and know. Raspberry. I'm not getting Dude, the raspberry I get the, yet. I get yeah, I get the raspberry a little bit, just a hint. Good. Uh, I still got. I still tiny bit. I still got a good two fingers ahead. So. Oh man, that smells delicious. I, I'm, I'm. Oh, yeah, there's the raspberry. raspberry. The raspberry is yeah. hitting now. Mm, give it a second, and it comes oh, out. Man, that smells really good. <laughs> now, mm. I have enjoyed the past two Voodoo Donut beers. The, yeah. the first one, the bacon maple, a lot of people, I think, didn't like it. It was different. I, I was okay with I, that one. I don't think I like the uh, the uh, the uh, chocolate peanut butter. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just got the pretzel. On the nose? Yeah. Like, I, like I took the beer away, set it down, and then all of a sudden, like, like, oh. like, like the pretzel needliness, like, came out from my mustache or something. <laughs> it's like, it's like when you're eating pretzels, you got pretzel bath for, like, ten minutes later. You know? Yeah. So far, all I'm getting is the chocolate and the raspberry. Well, 
now that we know that the uh, the, the aromas of this are, are are layered, let's see how the the flavors come out. Cheers. Mm. Wow, raspberry huge up front. I mean, there's no hiding the raspberry on this beer. Oh yeah, I mean, it's um, Daytime it's raspberry. in your face. Like it, it's the the you, you would have never guessed it by the aroma because it, it took a minute Ooh. for it to come out. But get a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of some, uh, a little bit of coffee in there. Hmm. It has a bite hmm. to it. There's this certain it's it's a bitterness. And it's not it's not like a berry bitterness, it's something else. It's more of a I don't know, it's a dry beer bitterness, bitterness. hot yeah, bitterness. Stuff, maybe uh, any saltiness maybe is is kind of contributing to something like that. No, no, it's not really, really? salty. Um I, by the way, I'm not raspberry. The raspberry is huge. I'm not really getting the pretzel or the chocolate. Um and I was really thinking like, you know, with this being like a a, a chocolate ale, you know, I was thinking more that that it might have um like a little smoother, more stouty kind of a mouthfeel, but it doesn't. It's got more of a like a like like an ale kind of a mouthfeel. It's it's well, it's it's now, not um, not very it's not very heavy. It's it's kind of light. No, no, yeah, it, it's not real thick. It's not syrupy. It's very clean. Uh, I did on the belch. I did get some some sort of a toasted. Almost like a toasted bagel. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go so far as to say a pretzel, pretzel because no. pretzel is very has a very distinct, um, you know, dry. You know, it does finish up dry with like the dryness of a pretzel. I'll, I'll give yeah. you that. Mm. Mm. Speaking I, of pretzels, um, I think as this warms up, I think it'll 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 change big time. Yeah. What are you gonna What are you gonna have with this? I mean, on the back of the bottle, Rogue always rec recommends, you know, a food pairing. So look for the little icons. Uh, in this case, they show a donut and uh, like a piece of pie and a drink, I think. Ooh. <laughs> you pair this with another drink? <laughs> well, I don't, maybe, maybe they're, I don't know, man. Like, it shows you maybe a glass of wine. Maybe it's a Sunday. <laughs> But it said they say they say donut. It says donuts and dessert. You know, I can totally. Yeah. I don't. I I could cop out and say this would go really good with the cheesecake because raspberries and cheesecake, you know, go together. But um, <laughs> um, but hmm, something different. I think something. I think actually, now that I think of it, just a regular glazed. Donut, nothing that's that's super cakey, but something light and, or even something that's it's light and flaky, you know. Like a Almost twist, like, like a, a sugar twist. Yeah, nothing, nothing real. Not an old, not an old fashioned. No, but not a, no, not a cake not donut fashion. though. More of a raised, yeah, like a glazed, a yeah, donut. A raised donut. Like a glazed or donut. As Voodoo Donut calls them, just uh, raised yeast donuts, right? Okay. That's what they call them. Yeast donuts. <laughs> yeah, I want this with a mouthful of yeast. <laughs> if you've ever seen that, I mean, check out the uh, Voodoo Donut. Uh, it's VoodooDonut.com. Really, really interesting um, donuts that they have. Um, everything from, like, Captain Crunch yeah. to... Um, they have the, the Bacon old... Maple Bar is probably one of their more more popular ones. Oh, they have a Texas donut. Uh d Dirty. Oh, that's like the what the it's supposed to be as big as it's six equal donuts. six donuts in size. If you can eat this donut in eighty seconds or less, get your money back. The, uh, I went. Oh out. my god! For the ladies out there, they got a cock and balls donut. When I was there in Portland, a couple filled with Bavarian ago, cream and chocolate I, frosting. I went to Voodoo Donut. It's so funny because there's when I was there, there was two locations. There was one more east uptown, and then there was one that was downtown and the one downtown was there was a line down the block you know when we, we got down there in the early part of the day and the line went around the block and we were just like yeah forget that man because i'd heard of voodoo donut but near our hotel seriously two or three blocks from our hotel was the other voodoo donut location and we went there and there was nobody in line so we walked nice. right in and it was a bigger location it was more like a 
a small I think it used to be um, an old like greasy spoon diner or something yeah. so it's a lot bigger the one downtown was more like a coffee shop you know it was tiny on the corner or whatever do you but, remember uh, what donut yeah, you had I think I got the one with the Oreo cookie crumbles on top and I was totally hung over and it, it worked mm -hmm. like a charm the, by the, the time I was yeah, like dirt dirt donut donut vanilla frosting and Oreos Nice. That might that might have been the one. The Hope it tasted better had, than dirt. Uh, the old dirty bastard donut. Oh, <laughs> ODB. Yeah, with chocolate frosting, Oreos, and peanut butter. Oh, it's a really dude, interesting combination. Awesome. Some, they have the Arnold Palmer donut that actually has a, a lemonade slash iced tea. You know, half lemonade, half iced tea dust, like on top of it. Uh, Dang. It's yeah, pretty bomb. If you're if you're in stuff. Portland, you gotta check out. Two o'clock in the morning, donut. these donuts must be like heaven. Oh yeah, uh, they were good hangover food. I'm telling you, I yeah. put, cured my hangover. One donut, like this one. So if you if you get totally hung over, it. it's called the No Name Donut. It's got uh, chocolate frosting, Rice Krispies, and peanut butter. Damn. That would be my hangover donut right there. So if you get hung over drinking a bunch of Rogue Voodoo Donut beers, do you still want to go get a Voodoo Donut in the morning? Ooh, I don't know. You might get caught up in some weird vortex. Yeah. <laughs> a polar <Sun> vortex! <laughs> oh, that was a last donut week. vortex. <laughs> the donut vortex. There you go. The black donut hole. <clears throat> All right, folks. All right, well, that's the that uh, wrap it up yeah. for, wait, for this for this week. Wait, we got, oh, we got a whole untap. rest of the oh, show. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got to untap this stuff. But while we're doing that, um, you can check out Rogue's website. It's www.rogue.com. R O G U E. And do we, you got the untap, dude? Oh, I can't find it. There's a lot of <laughs> raspberry beers. What? Did you, you know, type I rogue type in, pretzel? Uh, voodoo and, and you'll, you'll find it for some pretzel reason. Pretzel will be, probably uh, be the one that pops up. It's I got it. There it is. Why don't you type rogue voodoo? If you type rogue voodoo, it comes up much faster, Toby. Uh, it looks like wow, oh, untapped changed the way they do things. Dang it! Over capacity, untapped is right now. Can you believe that? Uh huh. Well, yeah. it looks like uh, out of everybody's trying to look at the voodoo donut. I know, like people are watching our show and want to, like you know, check things out for us. They're like, we got to find it before they it's do. A completely different interface from last uh, week. Last week. Yeah. Oh yeah, totally. So anyhow, out of one thousand two hundred fifty-one ratings, uh, it's rated three point four six. And wow, top three places to drink this beer is. Gump and Wings in Blaine, Minnesota. Uh, Casa de Daisy in St. Charles, Illinois, which is probably just someone's house, even though it does say right. looks like Daisy's it's house. got a little bar icon. And I'm not even going to attempt to... Tabacaria? Tabacaria de Sandoval. There you go. In Fresno. In Fresno. Nobody goes to Fresno. <laughs> <laughs> and, th about, and thralls jacuzzi, thralls jacuzzi. jacuzzi. <laughs> in Santee, California. Wow, nice. There you have it, folks. Well, and apparently, at McDonald's at Placerville also has this beer. <laughs> some wow. dude, some dude is sitting in McDonald's like they call like. <laughs> they said I could have donuts here. <laughs> uh, also, uh, beer advocate. Uh, users rate this an 81, which is good. Ah. <laughs> all right, folks. So, if did you want to hear our final thoughts, stuff? did you do all that stuff? Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we did it. We, yeah. I think we forgot the IBUs. It's like 30 something. Yeah. 31. All right, folks. Well, we got um, some more beer to drink, so uh, we're going to take off, eh? <sighs> no way, Hoser. If you want to hear our final thoughts on this beer and the other beers that we're trying on this week's show, check it out. This weekend, beercoasterspodcast.com. Look I for the um, our latest show, which is Strange Brew Two. We're also on iTunes. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Find us, listen to us, talk about us. We we'll go drink some more beer. Comment Sounds below. Like Let us know what you think. Yeah, like right here. Click, click down down yeah. there. Just like comments and stuff. Yeah. yeah, just just like click down there, girls.
Cheers.